More than 90 Minutes, Celtic Fans in 2001, Issue 1. 2021, Issue 117. 20 years on, still going strong. More than 90 Minutes, Celtic Fans in first went on sale outside Celtic Park in September of 2001. The latest issue of the fanzine marks our 20th anniversary and you can now order your copy at CelticFanzine.com. Thanks to everybody who bought a copy over the last two decades. To all those writers who submitted articles and to the poets and the cartoonists. And to those who backed us through subscriptions and sponsorship. We are forever grateful. And to all the ground sellers who stood in all weathers outside Celtic Park and at away grounds. Thank you so much for your support. I was young and promising uh, weightlifter, but I left uh, <laughs> early. And uh, he became a great captain of our national team. And uh, he spoke me very highly about Celtic, about the fans, about everything here. And uh, uh, this was a part of uh, my uh, reinforcing of uh, sympathy for uh, Celtic. Also, Lord Robertson the former Secretary of Defense and former Secretary General of NATO was speaking to me many times at the beginning of the uh, years 2000 when I was also Prime Minister of Albania meeting frequently because he was also in very good relations with uh, uh, Rudy and uh, you see time by time and then one day I met uh, spontaneously this uh, uh, Celtic fans in Sarajevo, I didn't know that there was a football match that uh, day, that evening between, uh, Saraj between Sarajevo and uh, Celtic. But I understood that it was a very noisy atmosphere and I was uh, going with uh, many uh, official people, delegation, bodyguards accompanying me in the, uh, at the center of the city. And you see there were two crowds uh, that were uh, following us. Uh, each other. And then I saw hoops. And I thought, what the... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I thought, uh, yeah. I thought uh, these colors, uh, what they are doing here, tourism or whatever. And I told to them, I want to go to greet them on behalf of Rudy Vata. And when I told to them that, and they then, uh, you see, the celebrity and the... Uh, oh. And then the next day, I was shocked uh, because of my Twitter... <laughs> <laughs> And uh, all these uh, uh, cell, uh, cells uh, were reacting and thanking uh, for me uh, that I was giving some luck to, uh, to Celtic uh, that evening. Uh, and uh, then the next day I had a, a t-shirt and scarves that uh, Rudy had uh, given me uh, earlier and I was posting for them. Yeah. <laughs> and I was uh, dreaming so much for 10 in a row. And this was probably the second time in the history of Celtic that uh, we couldn't uh, succeed. But uh, why not? Uh, we have to try for the future. And today we have seen uh, uh, a new team uh, that is uh, growing. And we hope uh, this process is uh, uh, going on. Paradise to see Father Foster or to see Scott Brown or to see Ayer. To see Shugir. I hope to see for soon. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. But uh, also we saw some uh, young players today, very promising, very uh, active and improving, improving. You've just came fresh from Celtic Park, right? Just before you arrived, you were singing "You'll Never Walk Alone" before the game kicked off. And can I ask what your first impressions? Where are Celtic Park and how much you enjoyed the, the 2 0 victory over Ferris Varos? Okay, so the atmosphere, the most cool t shirt to celebrate with the you never walk alone. Okay, okay. I, uh, you see, I, uh, uh, I am introduced with the atmosphere uh, uh, at the Celtic Park, uh, and I know that at the evening is uh, even much. Uh, Better, uh, and that's uh, the reason probably that uh, the first step was uh, to come uh, uh, in uh, such a uh, uh, timing, let us say, and next time it will be at the evening uh, late. Uh, the atmosphere was great, and uh, also Ferenc Varos was uh, 
showing that it was a good team, a very good goalkeeper and uh, some players very good, including, including one uh, Albanian attacker, the number 77. And we know Hungary very well because uh, uh, we followed it in the last European Championship uh, and they uh, equalized with Germany, if I'm not uh, wrong. But also, Karen uh, Varos has many foreign players uh, that are very uh, capable. Uh, but uh, it was clear that everything uh, dominated uh, because uh, uh, the Celtic uh, players uh, wanted to win, wanted to enjoy their fans. Uh, they improved the quality of, uh, uh, of the game. If a uh, penalty was going to be successful, probably the situation would be much better. I am happy with uh, such an atmosphere and in particular with the result, because I know that the Celtic fans uh, are determined to support uh, Celtic also in difficult situation and uh, when uh, there is not also uh, a victory or great uh, success because uh, football is uh, uh, like that, you cannot win. Uh, always and uh, that's the reason that I have uh, such great sympathy for Celtic fans because they are known throughout the world for their, for their loyalty and for their consistency and for their values. In terms of your role as President of Albania, um, I heard you sign takes off with Phil Hill to the world leaders. Is that true? And the Celtic that's, make you that's so place? many. You see, uh, you cannot imagine in Albania there are so many uh, people, so uh, foreigners, uh, distinguished guests uh, that visit Albania because they see also they follow my Twitter, and uh, <laughs> many of them say to me, "Hell, hell!" They want to surprise. <laughs> know that I was uh, so known here and uh, <laughs> I, I was not noticing it at, at, at the Celtic uh, Park but at the hotel where we were staying and talking with uh, our people and some other people coming from behind and, uh, <laughs> uh, and they say, uh, are you a president of Albania? <laughs> are you a president of Albania? I was saying yes, yes. <laughs> Started the celebrity uh, at the reception hotel, uh, outside of the hotel, and uh, during uh, all the way. So it has been a great, uh, great uh, evening. Great evening. Really. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Great. Yeah. Andrew. Uh, Andrew's from uh, World in 18 Minutes magazine, which is a Irish, Irish fans. Okay. Great. Uh, Mr. President, the man sitting to your, to your left, your good friend, his journey began in our country, Ireland, <coughs> when communism fell and Rudy was called back into the national team. And uh, something he learned uh, as a young boy was Italian, and he was able to speak with Liam Brady, who was manager of Celtic at the time. I know. How aware were you and his friends back in Albania of the joint steps he was taking for Albania as they went into a new era? Yeah, we have we have been always uh, uh, very uh, proud uh, about Rudy because uh, he has been always a great uh, and always very promising uh, footballer since he was uh, very very young. Uh, he was Shannon uh, before communism was uh, falling down and also later. Uh, and it's true that uh, during this uh, uh, clash between uh, Albania and uh, Ireland uh, national teams, uh, he was uh, known. But uh, it was told uh, very late to him that uh, there was such interest from the Celtic. Uh, uh, manager or the yeah, uh, press, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, was not. Yeah, and, and he lost some time. But uh, anyway, we are proud that uh, he was playing for Celtic. We are proud for uh, some unforgettable goals that he has done uh, during uh, that uh, time. And I post, I post, I post some of them on time to time. <laughs> against Greece uh, when Greece was uh, the champion of Europe uh, and many other unforgettable uh, matches. It was a difficult time that time because Albania was in a very deep uh, and chaotic 
uh, transition, but uh, 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 a very good friend for me, but not only for me, for uh, uh, any other also representatives of Albanian institution. What is more important uh, is very respected by the Albanian people, very known also today is uh, active uh, in continuity in uh, public uh, uh, TVs, in private TVs, uh, everywhere, advising uh, and uh, in inspiring the young people. But uh, also I'm very happy to have another friend who is uh, Rokovata and uh, who is his son and uh, who is also uh, an Irish international. Very, uh, <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> we won't fall out tonight. Uh, for us, the most important is for him to grow uh, uh, professionally and to be uh, very successful, and uh, also he will be uh, another uh, future bridge between uh, us and uh, uh, Celtic, but also us and uh, Irish. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, Patrick from Cork Media. Mr. President, just um, a quick one. I saw Ruby's son in Cork last week. He had an unbelievable goal. Yeah. One of the best goals I've ever seen in any football game. So with uh, North Macedonia, Macedonia or with I, Mexico? The, <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with the under 17s. Okay. But I just like to know, did you see the goal? Because it was just incredible. Would you agree with me? I I think it was it was a very good goal for <laughs> 16 years old. The goal from distance. Yes. yes. Uh, yes. Uh, when, when you think he's only 16, I think I think the technique and the timing and the power behind it and everything was was almost impossible to think for 16 years old. I have yes. seen 16 years not because he's my son, but I checked. I googled everything. <laughs> 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 but that, uh, that's only the beginning, I think. Yeah. Yeah. The most so? important yeah. thing is that he's in the right place right now. He's been getting yeah. a fantastic uh, treatment from the Irish FA, from the people in Ireland. Celtic also are doing a great job with him, and they are keeping him right. And I think us as a family as well. Uh, we try to keep him right. He's only young, he's just started to build up his career, but he's very promising and uh, he can be, if he wish and if he works hard, he can be the next, the next big thing in the world. Uh, well, I was speaking last night, the president was also interested to find out what, what Rocco is doing. And uh, uh, I, I explained to him, even if I had wished in my, or if I, in my best dreams, I would never imagine Rocco would do so well for the past three, four months with Celtic. It's been unbelievable. He was called in training at the beginning of June to, to train with under 18s. And then for some reason they asked him to go and play to train with the B team. And then after one week with B team, uh, the, the manager asked uh, Tommy McIntyre to, to send two young boys from the B team to train with the A team. So it happened so quick. So, and it shows me that he has improved a lot in a matter of short period. And he's been focused and he's been uh, putting the right work in, in place. And he's listening and he's uh, doing the right thing. But the way he's performing, I believe, for 16 years old, playing with, uh, with men, against men, I think he's showing that he's got, he's got the qualities. He's not afraid, he's a brave boy. And uh, also he's got, the, he's got the technique that in Scottish game, I think, uh, 
you don't see many skillful players in general. <laughs> 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 He's got everything because he's, he's, he's God gave him so many qualities and he's I think this is something that no many young boys can have and can get. I hope he appreciate what God has given him and I tell him every day he needs to make sure that he's doing extra work and what what if he do today what others want and tomorrow I tell him he can do what others can't so more or less he needs to work harder than anybody else to go right to the top because he's, he's built up his all ingredients is to go right to the top and as I say Celtic I think is uh, keeping him right and I, they are giving him the right uh, the right treatment for sure and he appreciates that. He's a quiet boy and he's an intelligent boy but again it's 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 only 16 and we've seen in the past many big talents at this stage they start and earn some money, they start and get some fame. So we have to to, to keep him right and we have to make sure that he's not having a bad company. You know, there is a saying that show me your friends, I show you your future. It all depends who he is around with. And he should surround himself with better people. People where he can learn, he can improve. And that's it. Because if he if he goes for lower below his standard, then we have a problem. But as I say he's only young. Celtic they they are sure they know they they have a big chance with him to build him right to the top in the right way and it's been a long time I think since uh, Celtic produced a top striker or a top, top offensive offensive player and I think Rocco they realize this is something they can uh, they can work hard on and if you work all together I think everything will be fine so, yes. yeah. so.